Hello, this is our next lesson. We are putting patterns in a graph. Okay, so remember just like what we talked about uh, in the previous video, patterns are functions and they are predictable. And you also learn how to write equations looking at the numbers in tables or what we call input-output table. Okay, so now I'm going to give you a one new vocabulary which is a function and this is talking about the relationship of x and y so it says it is a function if whenever you assign one value in y that there is a corresponding value in its x okay. so let's take a look let's look at our table we are I am using a vertical table but I will be able to uh, complete this by looking at the graph. So let's take a look at the number of miles uh, at cost. So you will be able to see here that there are two taxi cab, uh, cab company. One is the yellow and one is blue. So it says here X is the number of miles. So if you look at the X axis here, you have the number of miles and Y axis is the total cost. At zero value, okay, what is it? So let's take a look at the blue cap. At zero, we are at five. So I'm going to put five over there. Okay, and then at one, when x is one, let's go up and take a look. Your y is at six. So I put six. Now let's move on to when x is 2. When x is 2, I go up and then I see that it's 7 and I already put it in there. Let's look at 4. At 4, I go up and then it's at 8. Okay? And then, oh, sorry, that's 4, 3. And then for 4, I go up until it touches the blue line and it says nine okay so from here we can say that the difference from five to six is one okay and so the rate of change is one but how do we write the equation so from zero it becomes five from one it becomes six two and it becomes seven so no we now know that it adds by five so we can write the equation as y is equal to x plus 5 yeah okay I hope that it's pretty clear if not you can watch the video again and go back okay. let's move on to another example oh here I wrote here I changed the the y to cost because we know y is cost and then x is the number of miles just changing it to a more dis descriptive um, version plus five dollars is the rule okay so let's have another example but now i am going to focus more on how to graph to make a different representation so from the from the table we go to the equation and now we're moving on to the graph okay so if you're given an input output table remember that each pair of x and y is actually a point in your graph Okay, so this is a, a, the x-coordinate and the, the y-coordinate. They are pairs. So if you look at this, there are four pairs. That means that you can graph four points or plot four points. The first point is 0 and negative 6. So you write it as 0 and negative 6. So let's plot that point. From 0, you have a negative 6. So 0 and the x, but and the y-axis is negative 6. The next point will be this second level. So that's 2 and negative 3. We find 2 in x and then it should be negative 3 in y. Okay. Third point is 4 and 0. So we find 4 in the x and then it doesn't move up because the y is 0. Last point from our table is 6 and 3. Okay, so you go 6 to x and then at y is over here. So meeting is over there. 
so then you will have that point now that you have plotted four points all you have to do is draw is connect the points by drawing a long line like that okay now you have represented this input output table in a, another kind of way which is making a graph okay. let's have another example now you are given an equation from the equation we can make a function table okay so here I just put any value for X it doesn't matter it's up to you whatever you want okay so from there I will just replace X by 2 so this X will become 2 so 4 times 2 is 8 minus 2 is 6 I'm done with 2 now I can replace X by 1 4 times 1 is 4 minus 2 is a 2 now let's replace this X by 0 4 times 0 is 0 minus 2 is negative 2 then replace X by negative 1 4 multiplied to negative 1 is negative 4 negative 4 minus 2 is minus 6 okay. now we have four points because each pair represents one point and we can plot that okay so for the first point we have 2 and 6 there you go 2 at x and 6 and y okay. second point 1 2 so 1 in x and 2 in y then the third point is 0 and negative 2 so it's going to appear over here the last point is negative 1 and negative 6. So here's your negative 1 and down here is your negative 6. That's your point. We have all four points. Then let's connect the four points by a straight line. And that's your graph. Okay. Now, you're about to have your independent practice. The way your input table is written in your practice would look like this, okay, when you are graphing. So, you have the equation or the rule, for example, x plus 2. So, you are given the values for x. So, you just replace the x. It will look like 7 plus 2 because you have your 7 here. What is 7 plus 2? You have a y. So, your point now, you put them together. 7 here and a 9 so your first point is 7 and 9 but when it's 4 you're going to replace that x by 4 so that will be a, a point 7 9 is over here 7 here and at the x and 9 at y so we, we plotted the point for the second value of x is 4 we will replace this x by 4 so that's 4 plus 2 4 plus 2 is 6 so your x coordinate is a 4 and your y coordinate is 6 let's plot that 4 and 6 with this here's your 4 and that's the 6 you have the point over there last value of x is 0 so we're going to replace this x by 0 so that's 0 plus 2 0 plus 2 is a 2 so your point is 0 and 2 let's plot that point 0 and a 2 now we have three points and you can now connect this by drawing a straight line there you go your straight line okay now this is what it will look like in your independent practice okay so go to manage back now and find the corresponding practice sheet if you don't know what to do you have to go back to the last example because it looks like that okay See you in, see you online. Bye.